Kinza says, in Pakistan, when nikah is done, the groom says, Qabul hai, three times. It means, yes, I accept. And then the Mawlana, or Mulvi, goes to the girl and asks her, then he says, or she says, I accept three times. Is this a Sharia-based nikah? I'm confused about a Mawlana going to the girl and sitting with her and asking her. It is not Islamic, correct? First of all, the Mawlana. In Arab countries, they call him al Ma'zun. What is the ruling of having such a person to conduct the marriage? Islamically, these people do not exist. This is an administrative issue related to bookkeeping, registrars, but it has nothing to do with the validity of marriage. Marriage in Islam is quite simple. The guardian of the girl makes a proposal, not the opposite. It's not the groom who makes the proposal. In the marriage contract, the guardian's, uh, uh, the, the girl's guardian is the one who makes a, the, the proposal by saying, I give you my daughter in marriage. This is a proposal. Now, the groom, the boy, has to give his consent and approval. And he says, I accept her marriage to myself. And this proposal and acceptance has to be in the presence of two male Muslims or more. By this, the marriage has taken place. The Ma'zun or the Mawlana or the Registrar only documents this. So whether he's here or not, this is irrelevant. It has nothing to do with the validity of the marriage. Now, does he go and ask the girl? When he has to register something, he has to hear the acceptance of the girl himself. Saying the proposal three times and the acceptance three times is not from Islam. This is part of what some schools of thought teach so that there would not be any ambiguity and the man would be certain, the girl would be certain, etc. But this is not as part of the sunnah. The sunnah is once. The guardian says, I give you my daughter in marriage. The boy says, I accept. And the girl's approval is inclusive in the sense that if the marriage takes place and all of a sudden they go to the girl's house and they say, Mabruk, congratulations, you're married now. She said, nobody asked me, nobody consulted me. She has all the right to reject this marriage and deny it and it would be considered void no one can force her to marry someone she does not want but in 99.9 percent .9%, it's the father who goes to the girl and says T -t we're going to make your marriage contract tonight tomorrow next week are you okay with this uh, muhammad is marrying you uh, the son of abdullah or, or so and so and she approves of it and she agrees to it, khalas, it's done. We don't have to bring the girl in front of the witnesses and tell them or uh, to listen to her, and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.